All right, so I'm going to share my screen. Uh, okay. So, okay. So this is the um, metrics working group. We had just decided on recorded that we are going to try to find a time to work with the metrics models working group just because so much of our discussions overlap. I think it'd be really beneficial to bring those together. Um, so I think our, our the big agenda thing that we're working on right now, and I'd like to kind of get your feedback on on process for for folks. So Yiga and Peculiar uh, have agreed to help move all of our metrics to the new template that we've been talking about. It's going to take considerable effort, and so the intention was just having a couple folks dedicated to that effort might move it along a little faster uh, than trying to organize community around that effort. <laughs> Just it could, that could take a long time because there are a lot of metrics. And so we do have the metrics template here. Uh, and this is where the, the new metrics would uh, kind of land. And so there are a couple things that I'd like to talk through here is right now on, on our metrics, if I was to say, come and take a look at any one of our metrics. <clears throat> We do have uh, this, currently we have this description and objectives component in all of our metrics. And on the new metric, the intention is to um, move it over to just this overview component. So I, I do think I could see Yiga and Peculiar at times running into challenges just in terms of how to write that 200 words to try to keep it short and concise, particularly sometimes the descriptions and objectives are they can get kind of long. <laughs> and so just making sure that that they're comfortable, because there is going to be some editing that's done there. So um, that was really one of the first things that I wanted to talk through and how we might go about, you know, like they could take a pass at kind of combining these into the overview and then we just provide a quick read to make sure that it, it reads well, and what you're thinking process-wise here. But... Yeah, we could take time in this meeting slash metrics models meeting to just read through it and offer, you know, just like how we did metrics development, except for it would just be that section where we all just jump in and clean it up a little if needed. Okay. All right. That's my proposal anyway. Yep. Would you want to do it like when a full PR comes in to change the metric, or would you want to do it like on a Google Doc ahead of time? What do you think? Maybe Google Doc is easier if we are all going to jump in. Okay. Together. We can just knock it out there. Whereas a PR. It gets a little more. It's a little. It's a little more difficult when you have more than one person jumping in at the same time. I think. So process-wise, um, okay, Google Doc. Okay, so probably move maybe like a first step. Is to so far, move the markdown into Google Docs. So, what do you think of a good first move would be to take all of this and move it into a Google Doc process wise? So you're saying they're not going to really be going into Google Docs at all unless there's an issue with that first section. Is that right? No. At that point, I guess I was saying that that is part of the entire update. Maybe mm -hmm. a good first step would be to put it into Google Docs and do all of the work there first. So like we we don't really keep 
Google Docs. You know what I mean? Yes, I do. For all of these, because we had them both for a little while. And then we were, it was confusing us because we would have like the Google Doc and the, mm -hmm. the actual like released one. And it was causing problems because sometimes the Google Doc was out of sync with what was in GitHub. Yeah, that does cause problems. There's no question. So that's why we had gotten rid of the links to the Google Docs, except for the ones that are like in process or like quote in process. And so um, the thought would be is to move all of them into a Google Doc so that if Yiga and Peculiar have questions or they want us to take a look at particular parts, that would be the thing they could point us to. I, I guess my, my question was if there is no need for that, like if, if they're fine and it's good, then we don't need to bring it back oh. into the box for no reason. You know what I'm saying? Yes. If, if they're doing all their work just in that GitHub markdown already, if they're not going to plan. Fair, fair, yeah. fair, fair. Okay, so then only if there are questions. Okay. And then maybe um, with regards to the overview. <clears throat> um, with two people. Maybe the narrative can be sorted out. Okay. Um, okay. Otherwise, does that make sense? Like between you and peculiar, like peculiar, I, I don't know how well if you can hear me, but like if if you're trying to rewrite this, I think some will be easier than others. And if you're trying to rewrite this and you're like, I don't know how to bring these together into a single objective, maybe you could ask Yiga first for input. And then if if Yiga in this scenario is like, I I also don't know, maybe we should ask other people, <laughs> then then you could share it as a Google Doc. Okay. Um no. I got that. Yeah, yeah. Is that? Were you... yeah, I, I was I was saying I, I I got that that you're saying if we like not sure of particular metrics we're working on and then we need some input we put it in a Google Doc and share. Yeah, exactly. If you're not comfortable okay. that you and Yiga can sort it out between yourselves. That if okay. you want more feedback, like from in this call or over Slack, put it into a Google Doc, and I think it's a little easier for us to comment on. Okay. Okay. And then I just wanted to ask, or I guess make sure that um, they have the the code that needs to go in there to enable that drop down, right? They know what to put in there. No. Okay, I dropped it in Slack, but I will make sure that they see that because there is a code, a HTML code they have to put in or markdown code they have to put in um, that will enable that drop down. Can you to... just put it in here. Um, yeah, is this, I was gonna say, is this the thing that they're using to? The template. Okay, mm -hmm. okay, yep. yes, I'll drop it in here. And then we can get rid of like that comment right there, just because Let's keep this hidden comment. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so then there will be a new section which is called that want to know more section. And we'll have data collection strategies, filters and visualizations. So we have data collection strategies, which is here. filters, which is here.
and then visualizations will probably have they they will come I think in a they'll be evident in a variety of different ways throughout our existing metrics. So in in case of of this, like here is a visualization. So it would be simply pulling this visualization out and putting it in this section and then citing where that visualization is from. And those are the only sections at that point. So it's data collection strategies, which most of our metrics should have. And that can be, a, I think it's just a copy and paste. Filters, which most of our metrics should have, which is also just a copy and paste. And then visualizations, trying to identify within that document what visualizations help represent that metric. Is that, is everybody all right with that? I am. Okay. References is not, so Elizabeth, when you're setting that up, I don't know if there's like an end HTML thing. So just put it here at the bottom because references are always gonna be shown. So this is the only section that's hidden. Okay. And so references, we also have that section. So that can be copied over as part of this new template. Contributors, this one doesn't have any, but that could be a section that is added as well. And then this is kind of a new section, which is called additional information. And specifically, this is, those are the links, that's, that's these links, like the edit links and the reference links. So these two will become their own section, which is called additional information. Right? Everybody okay with that? And I know we've been through this before, but I'm just trying to walk through it really easily. And then the context tags and the keyword tags become part of the markdown. So I think right now we're putting them up here. Not the bottom. No, we don't put them in the document currently. We put them on the website. Okay. So those are probably already in there. They're probably already in there anyway. Yeah, yeah, because they go with the, the the skeleton, the okay, the shell, and then all that's getting changed is that bit in the center. I gotcha. Okay. So this is this is just kind of reaffirming that. Is that correct? That's an HTML comment. So I think if we leave that in as an HTML comment, when we pull that markdown from the document or from GitHub up to mm -hmm. the website, that should be invisible. Okay. Uh, but when we, when we add this to the website, we'll have to take out those, that keyword info and add it very specifically to WordPress as, okay. a, uh, as context tags and keyword tags. Okay. Because of so, course we do. <laughs> okay. WordPress gotta be special. <clears throat> and that's the, that's the searching, the searching for the, the website basically it allows us to search by keywords okay so is there is there a reason to keep this in the document in this markdown uh other than the other than the spreadsheet it might be the only place where we keep track of keywords and context okay. tags so if you're treating this as a like a, a github markdown file collaborative this is where we build the metric yeah we could treat this is this is where we could collaborate to figure out what those context tags and keywords are and also it could be a way that we tell the person who's entering who's adding this document to the website what those tags are where, where um, the other the other way to do it is is through the spreadsheet which okay. we, you're probably doing anyway it's just it's just a matter of what what's the what's the place where we definitively keep that data right Where's the 
where's that one source of truth? Is it this document? Is it the spreadsheet? Is it? So on that note, Kevin, I had advocated um, to keep it all in one place. And that is the markdown file. So, that, so I, I like it here as a comment then. Okay. Yeah, because we keep it only in the spreadsheet and the website. Then if the spreadsheet goes away, we're losing something. This way, the markdown, we have that in GitHub. The website is using the data, but just with the repository, all the information is right there. Okay. Okay, thank you. So these just, and Elizabeth, you think they might be in the markdown anyway at the moment? Well, they're not in the markdown. I don't think they're in WordPress already. Okay, so these just need, they, then these do need to be added. Yes. Okay. Some of the, some of the, uh, the metrics on the website may still have the old template. And yes. in the old temp, in the old template, we did have keywords at the top of the page. Yep. Yep. The, the new template should not happen. Right. I gotcha. So then what, Okay, so at the moment, then we have them here in the spreadsheet. And then Elizabeth, you said that they're also in Kevin, that they're also in WordPress as well. Yes. Yes. Okay. If, uh, if we have folks updating the templates, they will need to grab all of those keywords from the spreadsheet and add them into every single metric we have. Yes. Okay. That's, that's fine. Um, is there a way for say peculiar and Yiga to take a look at what's in WordPress and just kind of confirm that that's actually also what's in the spreadsheet? Yeah, they're listed at the bottom of the page. On, oh, if you, yeah, go, if you look up a metric on the website at the bottom of the page, yep, there's our tags. Okay. And the context tags are the categories that they're in. Yeah, and the context tag is the category, so you can you can see that okay. also based on the. Uh, okay, so keyword tags. At the bottom, oops, is that right of the page? And then context tags are the categories. Did I get that right? Okay. And so then it's like we do have like for some reason we have keywords here. So we don't like we don't we just don't need that anymore. So this like, is that's this is the old template. Yeah. So this metric hasn't been hasn't been updated. Okay. Uh, since we changed since we changed the template. Okay. So agreed that we will remove them any reference up here. Yes. Just because it's all down here. Correct. Okay. Oops. All right. Uh, as, as we've been going through this, what are other people's, do you have any thoughts that are kind of on your mind or things that you want to add process wise? Things that you've heard or <laughs> kind of any, just anything. Part of, part of why I want to do this is so that like when I think when Yiga and Peculiar have questions that we're, we can help at least be consistent in our answers. We, we might ask them to take notes and provide feedback on this process as well, um, because I would, I would recommend a similar process 
in updating our uh, community knowledge base documents, uh, which I know we, 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 there's some work that needs to be done in that area as well. Yeah. Uh, and I, and I do, uh, or search on the website because we're pulling a lot of those documents from the, from GitHub as well. Uh, it would be nice to have those context tags and keyword tags for those as well. Okay. Um, Peculiar, did you have any comments as we're talking through this? Yes, I, I, I'm trying to understand the, the context tag and the keywords, keywords now. Um, from the, the main matrix I saw is like, uh, that's like a code down at the bottom. The, yes. the contest tag at the bottom is like a code. Yeah. Uh, you can think of the context tags as the categorization of the metric. Okay. Yeah. On the website, we organize the metrics based on the context tags, right? So when we, yeah, basically topic areas. Right. So the keywords are basically just, they're just keywords that we add to the documents that help make them more searchable, right? So yeah. both context <clears throat> tags and keywords allow us to organize the metrics on the website in our knowledge base, but the context tags are basically a high level categorization. The keywords are a specific keyword that would be related to the metric uh, that helps people find the metric based on a search. Does that make sense? So I got that now. Let's see what I'm looking for. And the, the, con the keyword, the context tags were a specified list of 10 particular context tags or those topic areas. Okay. And you can you can always see those. It's available here just as a link. All right. And the keywords, they're they were almost like like community defined. They didn't come from a list. They were just as we read it, kind of what were the the keywords that continued to come up for us as readers in more of a free flow. Okay. I got that. Okay, one more thing is um, um, I've seen these big these spreadsheets that contain all the metrics. Yep. I'm asking for this purpose of this web, for what we're going to do. Can we have another? Um, no, yeah, here. Can we have another um, sheet where we can, let's say, um, select all the matrix together and then that will help us to check what we worked on and then what we're still working on. Yes. So I, I do have this sheet, which we call the metrics work. It was audited, okay. changed it. So right now, um, so I, I had been kind of just making sure that all of our metrics are in the spreadsheet that are actually okay. published. And so this is a link to every one of them on the website for you here in column A. And then you can use this just to track if it's currently, and feel free to add columns here. It okay. would help you and you get organized the work that's better for you. Okay, okay, I'll go that. And you'll see sometimes peculiar, like it appears. I don't know why I would say no here. Let's take a look at this. So like this one, for some reason, issue response time. You see how it doesn't have that list at the bottom? the context tag. So like I was trying to go through and identify which metrics are actually missing those context tags because some are. I didn't finish. And so issue response time. 
Is there a reason that those wouldn't be on there that you could think of, Elizabeth, Kevin? No, they, they were what's, what's, right? what's the question? So I had is as part of this like audit that I've been doing, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. So some of the metrics oh. don't include why is it? Why is it missing context tags? Is that the question? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, because that metric came from the, uh, the metrics working group, which was uh, which kind of went away. So okay. when we initially when we initially went through and asked the working groups to make context tags and keyword tags, uh, well, we, we did that, right? We, we, we went and asked the working groups to do it. Yeah. Uh, and the metrics working group did not exist at that time. So some okay. of the metrics had work done on them, but not all of them. Uh, I think it was the, there's probably a, a similar issue with metrics that may exist uh, historically from the value working group okay. uh, as well. Okay. But that, that would be the reason because the because there was no working group overseeing those particular metrics at the time. Okay. Uh, and I think the the group that we're in now is the is the group that uh, would oversee them and going forward. Okay. So thanks. Yeah, Enoch. Yeah, I'm curious to know. I know this is like not part of the current discussion, but what's the difference between issue response time and uh, um issue time to fast response i kind of feel like i'm not getting the real difference can i hold off on that question can you put yeah it yeah 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 but that's why i was <laughs> like it's not really in line with what we're currently discussing but just in case. response time yeah and okay. um issue time to plus response because um even in the definition on the website, I think the time to first response is either combined, and that's like uh, something that Sean was hinting on in the previous metric discussion, but let's go on with the conversation. Okay. Okay. Um, I just wanted to bring up really quick, um, that issue response time, is that the one you were just looking at the, on the, in the spreadsheet? that said there's no context tags, go back to the spreadsheet real quick, if you don't mind. Yeah, so um, that one does have context tags, it just isn't existing in the document. Because it has, to, I think all of these have to have some kind of context tags or they wouldn't show up at all. On the website? Yeah, so they are gonna have to be in some kind of category. So issue response time, for instance, is in, uh, all metrics, contribution, life cycle, and platform. But it just never got, I guess, documented anywhere. Over. So, like, where did that, did that come from common? Issue response. To, I don't know where it is. Issue response. Issue response time would have come from uh, metrics, probably. Metrics working group. Uh, Which, I can speak to the, I can speak to the difference between those real quick, if you'd like. Issue, but yeah, there's, there's issue, issue response time. Okay, so, yeah, so if you go over to the right, like scroll over to the right a little bit. Yeah, so there are, I don't know why the keywords are not in there, but there, that's where the context tags were. So it, it does have context tags, it just wasn't in the markdown. But I'm not sure why the keywords aren't, aren't there. That's strange. I see what uh, maybe, maybe the, the metric itself was never updated to reflect the new template when we added those. Uh, maybe, but yeah. real quick, the, the difference between those uh, issue, issue response time is very specifically an, an issue, right? So someone, someone puts in an issue, how much time does it take to some, for someone to make another comment inside that issue? Time to first response is how much time passes between any activity requiring attention, right? So that could be a, a commit, a pull request. It could be a review. It could be it. It could be a lot of different things. It's not specifically an issue. However, issue response time, you can think of that as a a subset or a very specific incidence 
of time to first response. So um, time to first response in itself is not a complete metric unless it's tied to a particular thing like an issue of pull request or a commit. Because um, if you're to define time to first response, you need to tie to either an issue, a pull request, or can to I, a commit. So, can I, so <laughs> time to, oh, Matt, sorry. We're taking over Matt's meeting, so. <laughs> yeah. Time can, to first response can also include emails. It can it can include okay. any activity. So the, the issue time to first response is very specifically pointed at issues in a GitHub or GitLab style environment. Uh, time to first response in general can point to any platform, emails, uh, chat. It could it could it could include Slack. Could include anything. So, but um, you have the the drivers seat. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um. So peculiar. Are you okay with? You can modify this any way that you would like. Is that okay? All right. Yes. That's good. Yeah, and I think one of the things that this conversation, like even just that this is bringing up, is that you, it's likely you're going to run into issues like missing keywords or <laughs> a, a section heading might be missing or it will have headings that appear I don't know. It's likely that you're going to run into some some situations where you or you have questions that don't seem to be covered in the new template, or or just I guess covered in the new template. So don't hesitate to to ask what those ask for help on any of those questions because there's a lot of metrics, and it's going to create a lot of questions is my guess as you move through this. So please feel comfortable to post questions in the Slack channel, uh, in this meeting, whatever it might be. I would add that there are, yeah. there are some metrics that in addition to just being transferred to a new template, they may need to be re-edited or edited in general for content. Uh, I don't know. Is there is there a way that we can track that where we can flag a metric for discussion in the working group? Yeah, I mean, we can make especially because with with some of our early early metrics, uh, you know, there's two or three I know of that that I would love to flag and basically just go back and kind of rewrite the metric in general. Uh, yeah. So I could just add a column here. I think that's fair. I mean, there are probably some metrics peculiar that you're going to read and you're going to be like, what is going on here? <laughs> and uh, yeah, we probably need to talk about it more. So that's a good point, Kevin. Thanks. Peculiar, did you have a comment too? For well, now, I, I, okay, one more thing. For the metrics you mentioned, they don't have tasks or or keywords or contest. Um, is it that is there a way that like some of the keywords on the other spread the main spreadsheet is not added to them or they don't have completely because if they don't have on the website we can look at the keywords provided on the this spreadsheet and add to them. Yes. Okay. Yep. You should have all the data you need. It's mostly okay. it's just it hasn't gotten to where it needs to be sometimes. And okay. it'll probably take like honestly, whenever I'm on this call and I'm talking to Kevin and Elizabeth who do the WordPress stuff, like <laughs> I learn a lot as to how the process works. So you'll probably have questions too for both of them, just in terms of why you might not be seeing things or why you are seeing certain things <laughs> they can certainly help out that's mostly elizabeth now i'm happy to help if asked but uh elizabeth is is primarily doing most of this work so i don't i don't want to take any credit for that 
Okay. So is this, is this helping peculiar? I mean, I think that it's just going to be you know, kind of getting to it. Um, and then the la the maybe the last thing I wanted to point out is on these columns, G, H, I, so on and so forth. So we have a, a, I have a person here at the university who's going through each one of these metrics and trying to find relevant references associated with that metric. So it's taking a little, it's going to take a little bit of time because you can't just search on the title. You kind of have to read the metric and understand what it's about and try to find published literature that actually <clears throat> to that thing that it's about. Less peculiar. Um, so just point maybe for everybody here is I think peculiar and Yiga can do the work on the template and not necessarily worry about adding references at this point. And I've asked Val to just keep track of references here. And then once we're done, or at least have some of them merge the new templates merged in, we can then do a second PR against that newly templated metric to add the references. All right. Is there anything else that people, thanks for adding that, Elizabeth. We're approaching the end. I think this is going to be a pretty big job. So um, I think a lot of our, maybe our metrics conversation will be to support Yiga, Peculiar, and, and the work that they're doing. I had a comment for Peculiar, but I think she dropped. So, <laughs> so I'll just slack her and tell her. <laughs> All right, I think that's good for everybody. I appreciate the feedback very much. Um, no, it's good. The good questions, I think, for sure. Thank I'll you. be really happy when this is moving forward in a really po positive way. This has been a long time coming, I think, to get our metrics all looking the same. <laughs> Agree. Yeah. Okay, there's peculiar. You want to? You have one minute to ask your. I was question. just gonna say peculiar. <clears throat> We need to do a test before we apply that code to all of them, the, the span, the details. I just want to test and make sure. So as soon as you do one, we'll test it and then it'll be good to go. But just want to throw that out there that we should test that before we put that everywhere. Make sure. Hey, Elizabeth, sorry. I, I just came back. I, I didn't get everything you said. All right. <clears throat> so in that template, that Google Doc that Matt put together, I added some HTML stuff that span markdown equals one um you need to put that in just as that is like leave that in there just as it is and also we should test the first one to make sure that that's going to work the way i intend. okay so yeah just let me know whenever you have one done and then we'll make sure to fix this if it's if it's broken it should work but you never know it okay, should sure. but yeah that that plugin we use is a little weird a little <laughs> weird yeah that's I, a, I used it in, the, yeah. in another doc it's it's um in the in the wild so i know it it works it just might need like if there's a space it'll break that kind of stuff all right so peculiar you know connect with you guys i think we can go ahead and get started on this now it's, i think the sooner the better we're all pretty eager um and everything should be in place so and Questions, just continue to ask questions as you have them, and we're happy to provide some. All right. All right, sure. Okay, thanks, everybody. It's good to see you. See you all. Bye. Bye, everybody. Later.